Koenigsegg CC GT was a GT1 car that was GT done before it even started. Imagine spending a decade of intricate planning, funding, and development, even grooming initial models to allow future motorsport development, resulting in a final product with a shattered future due to an unforeseen change. Well, that's exactly the story of the CCGT. It's quite a tragic story, really, as the CCGT, or at the very least taking Koenigsegg Racing, was an idea Christian von Koenigsegg had since the company's inception. Even the brand's earliest prototypes, dating back to 1996, that's like three years before I was even born, were made with GT1 regulations in mind, hence why the prototype did not exceed 2 meters in width and had its cockpit take 70% the width of the car itself. So what happened? Well, two months after Koenigsegg started test runs for their new GT1 car, the ACO and FIA changed regulations for the GT1 class. Carbon monocoques were no longer allowed, and the minimum production numbers, this was the real killer here, went from a total of 20 cars over several years to 350 per year, a number Koenigsegg could not produce at the time. I mean, imagine 350 Koenigsegg CCs per year. The, the brand wouldn't be as exclusive as it is today, to be honest. As for the car itself though, it was quite an engineering marvel. Weighing under 1,100 kilograms, the car also produced 600 kilograms of downforce. It was also armed with a 5 liter naturally aspirated V8, producing 600 horsepower. Now this was interesting because not a lot of Koenigseggs at the time actually were running with naturally aspirated engines. In fact, I believe this was the first one. So when it comes to top drives, the CCGT is claimed to have a 0 to 60 of 3.1 seconds, along with a top speed of 210 miles per hour. The game also gives it a very respectable handling score of 95 stock. Additionally, the brand's MRA reputations are also nothing short of mouth-watering, so here's the hoping that this car isn't an exception. So introducing your next prize car, the Koenigsegg CCGT. The car that could have been. Yo guys, what is going on? Blossom is back and welcome back to another episode of South Drives. I hope you enjoyed that nice little prize car autobiography. Yes, they are back. Yes, I totally didn't do it for the W Motors Lycan, whatever it was called. I mean, that thing was a pizza. I mean, if I had to give an autobiography for the Lycan, it'd be like this. It was designed for looks and nothing else. The end. And I think there were like diamonds encrusted in the headlights or something like that. It's it's very UAE. But anyway, guys, as you can see, 1818 balanced as all things should be. I want to make a point here, okay? So this is my prelims. I got top 10. I got ninth place in the qualifiers, and I got myself an ultra rare. Surprise, surprise. There are only three ultra rares you can get within this requirements of 1955 to 89 World Expo, by the way. Kind of crazy. But I want to I want to talk about this for a second, okay? 18 and 18. I have 18 losses. Okay, 18 losses. I'm in 24th place. Okay, you want to see what I'm using? I'm using this. I'm using this a max Porsche 959 No, I'm not saying that my bracket is hard What I'm trying to make here as a point is that the Porsche 959 sucks look man It's one of my most loved game um, love games. <laughs> it's one of my most loved cars of all time I have a list of notes uh, in my phone and it lists down all of my favorite cars ever ever produced the Porsche 959 is among my favorite the Porsche 959 is my favorite German car of all time uh, Just slightly above the Apollo IE and, and I love this car But I gotta be honest man when it comes to top drives this car is a heaping pile of garbage I'm not even joking the fact that I'm 18 and 18 running a max legendary like that. It's actually sad It's it's actually depressing. Okay, so this is basically what I'm running. I have a second 959 uh, That's that's stock. I mean, can you freaking imagine if I decide to one star that and put it in I don't know cuz like the thing is like this this car is trash it's four-wheel drive, it's standard, doesn't freaking matter. It loses to the Ford RS200, which doesn't even have traction control and ABS. It loses the Porsche 911 Carrera 4. Why? Because I've said this so many times. Handling is so fucking important, okay? Like, this thing doesn't handle. It's a piece of trash. But anyway, let's get into it. Um, It's a, it's an interesting event because it's kind of like, I can beat people, but people can beat me kind of thing. So, it, it, it's mix and match. It's really one of those events where if I really want to get the carbon fiber i'm gonna have to stay up to like 5 a.m to try and get this and i really don't want to do that so yeah we'll see man we'll see 
Anyway, the Porsche uh, 911 Carrera, that is the card to use for this event. So I'm kind of happy that I have one max. It's been a card that I've not wanted to max out for a long time because it never really had its day. Well, today is its day, or I guess the last three days was its day. This event, the Porsche is the best ultra to use. If you can, if you can run like two or three of those, uh, along with like a Moby Dick or a Porsche like a 962, you, you'd be good. You, you, you'd be good. Um, and yeah, not to mention, I, I have been upgraded in my, in my Moby Dick as well. It's, 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 it's 363 or whatever it is, but... So does everybody else. <laughs> He's got the same upgrade. He's got the same upgrade. He's got the same upgrade. Everybody decided. He's got more than one upgrade. Like, everybody decided to put their upgrades in the Porsche. Like, this one. See, this guy's just a sitting duck. If you're running around in this event and you don't have an upgrade in your Moby Dick, you're just a sitting duck. You're going to get shot. Like, seriously. Like, everyone has an upgrade in this car, man. It's And that's another thing of, you know, I guess another downside of um, a car that is so, like regular or so available to the masses everyone's going to have it and then out of everyone that gets it i would say at least 50 percent of the people know that everyone has it and so 50 percent of the players will put one upgrade into it thinking that their car will be a little better than everyone else's but since everyone else is doing that then well <laughs> you know that's what you get oh my god why are you calling me now uh uh okay okay I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I got a call. Like, this is what real estate is like, bro. I was like, I, I had this like schedule, okay? It was gonna be the showing at one of these units that I had and we scheduled it for 6.30. And I was like, okay. So I planned my entire day, okay? Went to the gym and I was like, okay, once I'm back from the gym, once I've done my cardio, my abs, my weights, you know, today was the, the, the long day of the gym. Long days of the gym for me is like three hours, okay? And like, yeah, I came back and I was like, oh good, I have like an hour to record this video. I could probably, well, I probably couldn't get it edited in that time, but at least I could record the video first, right? And then in the middle of my Koenigsegg CCGT prelims, I got a call from my college and he was like, yeah, we're going to view it now. And I'm just like, are you serious? So I had to pause the recording and that's why you can see that I changed a little bit. I was in my gym attire and now I'm in the real estate attire. I mean, it's not really real estate uniform. It's just like, look, not like you went from the gym. You know what I mean? I was wearing my leather jacket just now, but I, I took it off. It's, it's way too hot. <sighs> Where was I? I think I was uh, uh, doing CCGT stuff. Did, have I done a race? I think I've done a... The thing is, I was gone for so long that the tickets refreshed where I could probably just... I could probably just do four races again. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I... I oh, yeah, yeah, almost, almost. I was basically almost gone for an hour. Um, but I think I was talking about something along the lines of how I've maxed out this, uh, this Porsche 959, and it's not really giving me any value. Um, it's really sad to be honest. So, what was I doing? Oh yeah, so basically the only thing that I can do right now is just look for someone that doesn't have... This is basically what this, this entire thing is. It's basically how many upgrades do you put in your legendary? And right now, as you can see, we got a two-star Moby Dick. We got a one-star 96. That guy, that guy's beatable. This guy is kind of beatable. His the, the handling is max on this one. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's really good handling or not. Oh yeah, this one's max. Yeah, there you go. Two, three, one, oh, five. So it's really just down to like the legend part, I think. I don't know if I can beat this guy. Um, I see two win conditions. See, here's the thing, I, I don't know if the Audi actually beats the Porsche on the slalom. We can give it a shot. <laughs> we, can, we can give it a shot. You know, one win condition, two win condition, and perhaps... Well, actually, we don't need to put the Audi there. We just put the, uh, the RS200. Yeah, we're fine. That's three win conditions right there. But like I said earlier on, this is like a, you know, it's like a win or lose kind of thing. You know, another person can do the exact same thing to me. Only 88 points. That's a max legendary against an ultra for crying out loud. An ultra with like 72 MRI and only 88. That's, that's just sad. 33 and, oh my God, names 33 and 33. Jesus Christ. And I thought I had it bad, man. My God. Okay, well, we move on again. This definitely is, I would say, like, either a Moby Dick or a 9, 962. It's definitely a 962. Like, if you have a maxed out 962, then this is the event for you. But I don't have that, so this is not the event for me. How many win conditions do I see here? <sighs> see, the thing is, I need to play this a little bit differently. I need to work on my strengths. And the 935, believe it or not, isn't my strength. I don't think I can win any races over here. Oh, actually, I can. I can win this one. I see three win conditions over here. The three win conditions being not the, the Moby Dick. It's going to be uh, you. 
I have two RS200s to be fair, it's just that the other one that I have is 233. And th for this event, you want the 323. So that's gonna be one win condition, and that's gonna be two. That's gonna be three, and then those, those are two L's. So. I, sh I should be able to win Twisty Circuit over here. Come on. Uh, worst case scenario, it ends up being a draw. But I do hope I win it. 3-2-3? Three, three. Uh, it's a draw. It was the worst case scenario. But we did win it in the end. 170, uh, 117 to 50. Okay. Here's another way that I feel like I could probably get some value. And that is if I actually just yeet out the Moby Dick. The thing is, when, when I'm racing against the top guys, that car is going to lose anyway. Regardless, it is going to lose. Best case scenario, it will draw because you saw all those people with those, you know, one upgrade Moby Dicks. So another thing that I could go with is a maxed out GT40. Okay, hear me out. Maxed out GT40. We get rid of the Audi because it's a piece of trash. The only issue is I'll need to put in like a second 959. And I don't know how good a second 959 is going to be because if I max up the handling on that, it's only going to get me 87. So let's give that a try. That hurts, by the way. But yeah, 87. We don't care about the 0 to 60. I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. Get rid of you and we have 51 RQ to work with. See, this would be a great place to use the Quattro. I don't have that. But I do have this 1.8. Is this a better hand? I don't know. I mean, we get one more. We're, we're going to get another win condition in the 959, hopefully. Um, this doesn't change because the 935 that I was using was losing against the big boys anyway. So that wouldn't change anything for me, right? A loss is a loss. But then the issue is I can't run another ultra rare. That's the issue because... I want, ideally, I want to at least be using the, I don't want to use the Quattro, ideally, I want to be using you, the RS200. That would leave me with 71 RQ, where the, I think that the GT40 race car is a bit too far. It's not gonna, see, if I had this car max, that would have been a good hand. But I don't. I, I have to run the GT40 race car, which means there's only 51 RQ to work with, which means that I probably have to max out the Quattro. Do I... I guess I can max out the... We'll run this for now. We'll see if this is a better hand. So we're, we're going to run against the top dogs, and let's see if it makes a difference. So, Thomas, let's see if this wins over here. I basically need this car to come in clutch for me somewhere. Uh, I see two win conditions. I see two win conditions. I see two. I see three. I see three. Okay, possible, possible, possible. So, see, we were going to put the 935 here. That was going to lose anyway, so we're going to lose with that. Um, I'm going to win this one, and then I need Twisty Circuit. I need Twisty Circuit to win that. You're going to win G-Force, and I'm going to lose the Slalom, but it's only going to be by 50. So, let's check it out if this is actually going to be a better hand. You're going to lose by 50, 60. That's fine. As long as it's less than 100, it's fine. Um, and then 959 needs to win that. It does. Yeah, you know what? Maybe having two 959s. One 959 got me 18 and 18. Yeah, that's very, very close. One 959 got me 18 and 18. Two 959s might make my life a little easier. I don't know. Maybe. We did win that, though. And, like, if I was running my other hand, I would not have been able to win that. So, perhaps I'm on to something. Let's go for another race over here. Let's just try it again. Oh, it's the same track set. Where's Thomas? Yeah, we'll just go for Thomas again. Yeah, it's easier that way. Um, yeah, we'll just run the same thing. So, it was one. Oh, wait, no. This is a different. Wait, is it different? No, it's, like, almost the same. Because it's, like, yeah, put you there. Put you there. What I probably need to do, though, is one star the 959. Because on my ghost hand, I need that card to draw. That's the issue. Can you imagine if I was crazy enough to put in another upgrade into another 959? Uh, I'm not that crazy, right? I'm not that crazy. Yeah, as long as my GT40 loses uh, less than 100 points, could be 99, that's fine. Tell you what, man. Might be onto something. Might be onto something with that. Might up to one star, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, the other one is eco-friendly travel. This is, is an interesting one because if I go times five and times three, as you can see, I really only have like seven cars to my disposal. Um, it is an all dry event and everything that I have over here is standard tires because I do not have a take on. But at the same time, I want to be using the big boys. I want to be using my Koenigsegg Yesco Absolute. I want to be using my max out Porsche 9, uh, 918. That leaves me a 45 average for everything else. Like this is just gonna be like the where I'm gonna be saving RQ so I guess I know there's two city streets medium so maybe I'll just run both of you and 64 RQ it's the Benz 
you know, the bends, the bends. Yeah, we can work with the bends. 4.882, 4.683. Yeah, I think this is the best that we got going on over here. So let's just get into it. Um, my max legendaries, just carry me, please, uh, for the two drag conditions. So basically, one, two, and then everything else, I don't care. Tokyo drag, that's gonna give me a hundred. I'm gonna say 150. Oh, I've seen this glitch. I've seen this glitch. This is this one is on this is unfixable. I mean, we won by a lot because we got three stars, but I guess we will never know how many points we actually won by because of that crash. Oh wow, this is a brand new, absolutely brand new bracket. Well, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Koenigsegg versus Kun oh, it's the fourth race. I don't want to watch the first, like. Eh. Should we do it? I don't know. Uh, sure, I, I kind of want to see how much the Max Yesco actually beats Blitzig by. I want to say at least 150 points. It's just that I wish you could just skip to the fourth race. That would be a pretty cool quality of life feature, huh? Just just watch one race instead. All right, this one. Wow, 286? That's a lot of points. I was saying 150. This might be a lot more than 150. Hey, I was so I was three points up. I'm so happy with that. Um, yeah, I'm actually surprised that we won by 238 points against the Metropolis. I know the Metropolis was bad, but I thought they nerfed drags where you don't win by that much anymore. That doesn't feel like they nerfed it. That's maybe they only nerfed the regular drags. Maybe that's why. Test bowl. Come on, this event was made for the Yesco, man. Like this is this is why I drag expected. I know some people out there they're thinking, oh maybe I should like two three three my Yesco. It's not a bad option, but I wouldn't do it for sure. All right, yeah. Oh yeah, it's three city streets medium. There you go. The, the, I I have three city streets medium cars just worked out i thought it was two but i guess it's three it doesn't really matter all right 340 to 50 we take those um take another three i think we can i think we can clean i think we can clean shop over here clean the prize boards um oh, oh citron metropolis on the test bowl oh this is fun this is fun let's play how many points i'm gonna win by uh on the uh whatchamacallit test bowl i'm gonna lose pretty hard in tokyo overpass but uh, come on uh, we got, I gotta think about the defense. I gotta think about the ghost hand, okay? We gotta put the max legends on the drags so that nobody can race this when it comes to the defense. 380 points. 380. Oh, oh my god! It's, it's going down. It's going down. But 448 and it started off at like uh, 600 or something. That's three stars. I lost by 188 on the first race and that's already three stars just from the test ball. The test ball is OP, dog. The test ball is OP'd, man. Like, it's actually insane. All right. Porsche 918, 289. We take those. Hey, this is a fun event. I'm actually really having a lot of fun with this. I like to see those points stack up. It's it's making me... It's a feel-good event. It's a feel-good event if you have a yes go, honestly. All right, let's go again. We go again. Uh, oh. 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 Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You know what? You know what? I'm going to say it. 1,000 points. I'm gonna say 1,000 points, dude. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, why would you put a car of 126 miles per hour on a test ball? You poor soul. You poor. 1,000 points. 1,000 points. 1,000. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't that much. But hey, we're getting over 600 still. Oh, no, not yet. Oh my god. The Yesco Absolute lapped the Mondeo. We saw three cars go by. Two of them were Yesco Absolutes. Hey, 588 points though. We take that. We take that. That's fun. That is fun. Do I get a lot of points from this drag or is it 918 versus 918? Oh, it's 918 versus 918. Just 50. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm really happy I maxed out my 918 to be fair. Here's 688 to 251. That is also clean house there you go clear the brackets we're good to go back to two mil and that's gonna be it for today's gameplay day but uh yeah i, I can't wait to review the uh 1955 to 1988 uh 1989 world expo carbon because they're like there's like 10 cars in there literally but anyway, i hope you guys have a great day remember to stay safe wash your hands and blossom out peace Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too.
Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jetbox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jetbox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Sit back, relax in my Bonneville, Pontiac.